sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium. Hello everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Boyd Matson. Saving a species is always a delicate balance between the needs of the endangered creatures and the needs of humans. We're headed now to the east coast of the United States to find out just what is at stake for one such species and the people who depend on it for a living. With all the diverse marine life off the U.S. Atlantic coast, it could be easy to overlook summer flounder. Flat and camouflaged, it's an unassuming fish. Yet it's in the center of a heated controversy that's gone as high as the U.S. Congress. Almost every day through the summer season, recreational fishermen gather at this dock in Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey. They're eager to catch summer flounder, also known as fluke. For many, it's a summertime ritual. Good friends, good times, good fishing. But conservationists say that flounder stocks plummeted dangerously low shortly after flounder fishing gained popularity in the 1970s. In the early uh, 80s, late 70s, it was significant, four times higher than it should have been the rate. And um, that led to the stocks declining significantly so that in 1989, that was the low point, um, they were about 15% of, less than 15% of the healthy levels. Congress stepped in, passing a law that allows for strict regulations on fishing. As a result, the summer flounder population has begun to recover. Fishermen say they're seeing more summer flounder now than they've seen in many years, perhaps ever. Come on down, guys. Plenty of room here for you. Tom Buban, captain of the recreational fishing boat Atlantic Star, has been fishing these waters for 30 years. From everybody I've talked to, the commercial guys, recreational guys, everybody says the same thing. There's more fish now than they've seen. They both agree on that there's plenty of fish. So that would seem to be good news and the end of the story. But instead of lifting restrictions on summer flounder, the fishery managers have tightened them. Fishermen in New Jersey must now measure every flute caught and throw back those that are less than 18 inches. Nice meal going back. On this boat, on this day, that meant about 90% of the catch had to be tossed back into the ocean. Man, you're gonna be just about a quarter inch short, guys. When we had a 16 inch size limit, it was great. 17 inch size limit, we could live with. 18 inch size limit is, is putting the, um, a real strain on, on, a, on a keeping ratio. Another 17 inch are going back. <laughs> The reason for the heavier restrictions, say fishery managers and conservationists, is that although summer flounder stocks have risen dramatically, they're still not where they should be. I think they're right. There are a lot of um, summer flounder out there, but it's a question of perception. Yeah, there's more, but there used to be a lot more. Fishermen, however, are not convinced. They're lobbying Congress hard for changes in the regulations. The summer flounder controversy is somewhat unusual. Most fishing regulations are aimed at commercial fisheries, which operate large boats plying the nation's coastlines. But summer flounder is a tasty food fish that swims fairly close to shore during warmer months, so it attracts a lot of recreational fishermen. They account for about 40% of the summer flounder take. Commercial fisheries account for the other 60%. Together, they haul nearly 20 million tons of fish a year from the Atlantic coastal waters. Because there are a lot of recreational fishermen out there, they are a voice to be reckoned with. Many who earn a living piloting recreational fishing boats believe the scientists are wrong, that they don't realize the extent of the summer flounder rebound. I don't think that their information or data is really accurate enough to say that we need these tougher regulations. Oh, I don't think they really, have a, they really have a grasp on exactly how many fish are there. I think there's much more fish than they realize. Conservationists and fishery managers counter the fishermen are looking only at small areas with good fish stocks. 
while researchers are examining the population along the whole of the Atlantic seaboard. Their goal? To bring summer flounder stocks up to sustainable levels by 2013. That means recreational and commercial fisheries could take their fill of summer flounder, but there would still be enough fish left over to continually rebuild the population and keep it stable. So fishery managers are urging restraint. At this point, it's really difficult because there are a lot of fish out there. Commercial fishermen, recreational fishermen are seeing more fish, larger fish, and they're excited about that, and they want to be able to take more of those fish home. But we still have to have some restraint at this point to get us to where we need to go with the next four years. And when the stock is rebuilt, there'll be more fish available. Fishing operators like Captain Tom worry that business will continue to drop and people will lose interest in fishing if they face more years of stringent restrictions. But conservationists counter that lifting restrictions now could possibly cause the fish stock to crash once again. If Congress does like the recreational fishermen are asking and, and allows managers to put economic consequences, short-term economics in front of conservation, we're gonna reverse all the gains that we've made. But conservationists and fishermen agree on one thing, that both sides should be working more closely together to ensure the viability of a fish they both come to care about.